This is Phil from Phil Effects. Got another uh, After Effects tutorial. This is another one for my uh, animation class at Phoenix College, and uh, they've got an assignment coming up that requires them to do looping of a pre-comp. So they're doing a walk cycle, and uh, one of the best ways to do that, or the easiest way, is to create a loop of a standard walk cycle of a character and then loop on that uh, pre-composition and instantiate that into a larger composition. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, we'll walk, I'll walk you through uh, the best way to uh, create a looped pre-comp inside another composition in After Effects. So what we have here is uh, this is the finished product and let me just show this. This is a composition it's uh, five seconds long and we've just got a ball here that bounces and then it just goes across the screen and this is accomplished by making a loop on a pre-comp of just the ball going up and down. So if we go over here to the pre-comp of the ball uh, you can see that this is a 20 second composition or 20 frame, excuse me, 20 frame composition and we've got some ease in and ease out uh, when the ball goes down it comes back up and I've got some keyframes on the uh, uh, scaling so when the ball comes down at the bottom we do a little bit of squash for some squash and stretch. So it's a pretty simple composition and actually there's just a transition in the y-axis nothing in the x-axis. Uh, so to show this from the start uh, let me just go in and I'm going to copy this animation with uh, Command or Control C on a uh, Control C on a PC, Command C on a on a Mac, and let me create a new comp, and we'll call this Ball Start. And we can see this is a five-second uh, composition. Uh, we want this to be 20 uh, 20 frames, so I'm going to change this duration to be 20 so it's only 20 frames long. We'll say OK and then go down here and just hit paste and now if I hit U we can see that I've created this composition and it's basically the, exactly the same thing as uh, this ball comp over here. So they're both 20 frames long. Uh, the ball goes up and down and uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go into the top composition and I'm going to disable what I did before and I'm going to take this ball start and I'm going to drag it in here and we can see this is my short little pre-comp and it's 20 frames long and if we uh, do a RAM preview we can see we get one cycle of it and then for the remaining five cycles, five seconds, there's nothing. So how do we uh, make the pre-comp loop on this? Well, it's fairly easy, actually. First thing we want to do is we have to go in and we have to tell After Effects to do what's called a time remap. So if I right-click on here and I go down to time, and hopefully this is just within the viewing frame, we see enable time remapping. Uh, that can be uh, done with a Control alt t on a Windows or Command-Option-T on a Mac. And we hit that and that adds this time remapping. Notice that uh, After Effects put in a keyframe right at the beginning and right at the end. Okay. Now the fact that it puts a keyframe at the end, this ends up causing a problem. We'll, uh, I'll show you real quick what the problem is and then how we fix this. But let's go ahead and go forward just a little bit. So the next thing we need to do is we need to give a, a script command to tell After Effects uh, how to reloop this. And the way to do that is you hold down Option and click the uh, stopwatch here on a uh, Macintosh or Alt and click the stopwatch on the PC and we get this uh, gizmo that comes down and if I click here on expression language menu now this is going to drop off the screen but uh, I'll get a uh, screen capture later on and put it back in the movie but it goes down and you want to select property and then you want to select loop out so if we do that that's the number of frame cycles 
and that puts in the equation that tells After Effects that we want to do a loop. So now if we go in and we loop on this, or we're, excuse me, we play, uh, we do a RAM preview, it actually loops, but it only loops for the duration that we have it enabled in the timeline. Okay. Now because we only have it enabled for 20 frames in the timeline, we don't see that it's looping. So if I take this and drag it out, so we drag it for the five seconds, go back in and then do a RAM preview, we can see that it's actually looping the whole time. All right. Now it ends up that there still is an issue with this. And the issue is, is if we get all the way down here and we come up to right here, you see that? The ball disappears for one frame, then it comes back. All right. So the way that we fix that is we need to actually put in and shorten this this keyframe right here is the problem and we need this keyframe actually needs to be one frame back so the best way to do this is hold down the shift key and drag your playhead and it snaps right to the keyframe then do command or control left arrow and go back one frame let's put a keyframe in there and then command and control right arrow go forward one and select that keyframe and hit the delete key all right, now we can see that it cycles the whole way through and we don't get the ball disappearing. Uh, another thing is you can see, like I said, when I drag this through, because I dragged it through for the full five seconds, this will loop for the full five seconds. If you only wanted this to loop for three seconds, well, I could go in and I can uh, have this stop here at three seconds and we loop till three seconds and then we stop. Uh, the other thing is uh, this pre-comp, uh, at the moment I'm only showing the time remap, but actually it has the full set of transforms, just as any other pre-comp would, and I have transforms here, and so I could go in, and this is actually how I made the ball bounce across the screen. So I went in in position, and I set a keyframe in the beginning, and then I went to five seconds, and I took the ball and in this case I hold down shift and I just drag it off the screen so I have a keyframe in the end and now you see how the ball goes all the way across the screen so we get an animation with the ball going across the screen and it's accomplished because we're having uh, looping on the pre cup of the basic ball uh, so hopefully this will uh, help you out in the exercise and anybody else that needs to figure out how to do uh, uh, looping on pre-comps in After Effects. And again, this is Phil for PhilFX. Thanks a lot. Bye.